Hey everyone, Scott Ackerman here, and welcome to another fine Earwolf program on the Video Podcast Network. Stay tuned for... Improv for Humans. Oh, my favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, Improv for Humans with Matt Besser, that's me. Welcome, live stream. It's kind of exciting when it's live, isn't it, Paul Rust? Very exciting. It has a little di- a different energy. A different flavor. Uh-huh. Did you uh, dress especially for being live? Because you usually come in dressed like a real slouch because you know <laughs> no one sees you. Yeah, but no, I wrote, uh, wore my uh, top hat and tails. That looks really nice. Ni- no, they can see you now. Oh, we see wait. that you don't have yeah. top hat and tails. Yeah. So I'm no sorry. more lies. Blue shirt and gray shirt. No more theater of the mind. <laughs> hey, folks. Matt Besser here. Uh, with Paul Rust. Hey, man. We have some other guys joining us very soon. I got like, how many cameras are here? I have no idea which one to look in. Let's get, can we just show the audience the camera setup? Yeah. Or does that break all rules? <laughs> These guys are like, don't do it, man. Matt, you've always pulled the curtain back. Come on, let's get don't that stop angle, now. guys. <laughs> they didn't show the angle, though. All right. It's like paparazzo uh, in here, huh? All these cameras. So we have so many different things I'm going to try out today, Paul Rust. I'm going to do the YouTube videos, but now we can see them. Our audience can see them. That's going to be exciting. Live call-in. What? People can call into the show. I guess it's like, yeah, they can now, right? It's like Larry King Live. Yeah, that's your frame of reference. <laughs> it's the only call-in show that's ever existed <laughs> in the history of entertainment. Larry King Live, folks. <laughs> 347-514-9653. Is that going to appear up on the video screen for them? I don't know. 347-514-9653. Hey, I'm not even sure what I want you to say when you call in. Oh, and 9653 spells wolf. What the fuck? <laughs> that must be a total coincidence. Yeah. So what do we want them to do when they call in? What can they add? They oh. can always add a story, but mm-hmm. something shorter... Should you give them a word to inspire a story of their? They give us a word. Uh, I don't want them to you do don't improv, give them Paul. A word? No. <laughs> Why don't we turn the tables? <laughs> no, I don't want to do have that. Have them do improv for us for once. Huh. What do we want them to call in and do? I guess I should have thought about this beforehand. What's going on today? Any, uh... Just in their life, what's going on? Okay, uh... call in, folks. <laughs> if you had something interesting go on in your life today, your that's Thursday? fair. That's what's, a short story. What's your Thursday been like? Yeah. yeah, but don't just... Yeah. I got up and ate cereal. I don't need to hear that. Yeah, 347 514 What's the word? Art. No, wolf. <laughs> oh, wolf. <laughs> you, checked, you went to your own show for a second there. If you ever ask me what word, I'm going to always say art. art. That. Is that your trigger word? Yeah, your yeah. maturing candidate word? When you're, when you're in Hollywood, when you first enter Hollywood, they teach you that the first word you should always say is art. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's... I think that's North Hollywood. Uh... <laughs> Folks, L.A. jokes. Okay, I asked you guys on at Matt Besser to tweet in your intro questions for my guests. My other two guests are currently showing up. But we have Paul here. You ready for your intro question? Sure. Okay. Now, this guy wrote some good ones. For you guys who like to do the intro questions, these are good examples. Take a page from this guy. Yeah, exactly. What is the worst faux pas? I'm going to read a couple of his. I'm going to give you a choice. Mm -hmm. Or you can answer all of them because they're good. Okay. What is the worst faux pas, foot and mouth comment you can remember making. Did you try to recover and make it worse? I can see you being a foot and mouth guy. Yeah, and you can also see me be the guy who tries to make up for it <laughs> and who makes it worse. I do, I do see that. Yeah. So you got one that you want to admit to? Uh, yes, I remember um, I went to on a college campus visit to Chicago. Uh-huh. Your old stomping grounds, sure, right? Sure, sure. Went and visited uh, the DePaul campus. Yeah. Me and a girl, my high school girlfriend at the time, we went to visit together because we were maybe going to go to college together. Who knows? Holy shit. Stay in looks. You're going to be in love forever. Didn't happen. But when we were there, she was like, we got to hurry up or we're going to be tardy. And I I said, you're going to be retardy. And I had forgotten in that moment that her brother uh, was mentally retarded. (laughs) She, that wasn't a... So that was. <laughs> and how did you backpedal? Or did you? She went. Well, I remember after I said it, she looked at me and she went, 
real nice, Paul. Real oh. nice. And I felt terrible. <laughs> and then she... She w- says, I am never going to DePaul with <laughs> you in the future. I'm never going to DePaul with <laughs> DePaul. And then she threw her thumb to me. If you were watching video, you could have seen that I threw my thumb in that moment. To Holy the other. shit. Uh, but then she, because we were walking on the street, she sort of picked up her pace. And then I did that sort of lame no balls thing where I was like chasing after her being like no I'm sorry I didn't understand oh my god (laughs) she didn't deserve you Paul (laughs) oh thank you I thought it would have been the other way around to get offended (laughs) over a dumb fucking fun and it wasn't like a surprise to her she knew he was oh no you didn't get the point of the whole thing never mind All right, I'm gonna give you another one okay maybe you should answer on behalf of the other guys what would Seth Morris say (laughs) Okay, pay attention, folks. Okay. If you could wake up tomorrow and suddenly be able to do one particular skill really well, what would that skill be, Paul? No hmm. joke answer. Damn. Uh, really well. A skill that you want to do that you've probably thought of through your life. Damn, I wish I could do something like that. I think... Sex, maybe? You know, it's probably... <laughs> Are you presuming... <laughs> That, that my answer will have something to do with sex. Um, you know what? I was going to say it probably is a, a bit of an offshoot from the last question. Mm. But I, I think if I had the ability to, <laughs> to never... To be retarded? <laughs> no, to never be hurtful, right? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, my <laughs> like, God. No, but I mean, like... <laughs> no, because your whole life is spent making up for the mistakes you've made. So if you never made a mistake and never had to apologize uh, for it. Well, maybe. No, 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 no. Let's say it this way. I My a- actions are you never. You still have a girlfriend, right? You guys a- didn't break up. What did if you? my actions are never registered as hurtful? You know what I mean? So it's not that I will never do anything hurtful. It's like I could kick a guy in the balls and he'd smile gently. Oh, you're trying to make it cool now. <laughs> yeah, now I'm trying to <laughs> tosh it up. <laughs> so you went from this real sappy power to I want the ability yeah. to kick guys in the balls. I went from emo to tosh <laughs> in 2.0 seconds? That was really... Are you that nice of a guy no. that that's the special skill you would... I like, think that like I, I you think could have, you could be flying right now. <laughs> I am, man. I'm on improv for humans. <laughs> yeah, man. So I'm, I've been flying high for the yeah. whole day. No, I don't know. I think is it, I don't want you to mistake it that I, it was me being a nice guy. I think I was just thinking like, what's my main problem in life, and it's oh. constantly feeling like you, know, you gotta you, constantly you feeling fucked what? up. You fucked really? up. Really? You really something. feel that way? Well, I was raised Catholic, Besser, so... Okay, yeah, man. You're a really good it's guy. In my you, should, you should get over that. I'm always feeling like i got to make up for something. Oh, God. Okay, I, I was hoping we'd get at least one more of these guys here. Oh, wait, no. What? It'd be that I could eat pussy really well. <laughs> Master. The right answer. Yeah, sorry. I don't know why it took me so ding, long ding, 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 ding. to think of that one. We need... I don't want to turn this into a sound effects show, but I should have an air horn or a bell or something yeah. in here. Uh, just to... I need something to bang on when something awesome like that is said. <laughs> a bell for next live improv for humans. Bell. Yes. Doesn't have to be the word pussy, but something as great as what you just said okay. gets the bell. Sorry, ladies, for what he just said, by the way. Yeah. So All right, I guess we should get into the improv somehow, Paul. Just you and sure. I. We're going to fucking do you it. You and me, man. So uh, let's see. How should we launch into it? Let's just do this fucking old school going to the Twitter line. <laughs> you seen the robot? Yeah. Here is your one word suggestion oh, yeah, from baby. Twitter. What is it? Oh, I got to say it. Okay, let's see here. Lots. Of good suggestions coming in. There are a lot of questions here. I'm trying to get all the questions. Okay, here's one. Roy De La Rosa says jaundice. Okay. Okay. Sterling Shaw says Titanic. Twin Peaks podcast 
<laughs> is that a podcast? I don't know. Because I'm a big fan of Twin Peaks. Imagine there must be. But really, of a, sh- a one show that's not on anymore, a podcast devoted Those to fans, it. Those they're, fans, they're they're big fans, though, right? But Twin, yeah, Twin Peaks has a lot to talk about. There's going to be something to talk about. It's either Twin Peaks or Bonnie Raitt, man. <laughs> Why those two things? I'll get the connection. Uh, well, we talk a lot about Twin Peaks, and then yeah. Bonnie Raitt gave us something to talk about, a little mystery to figure out. Okay. Bonnie Raitt sang that song. Let's give them... Something to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Okay, okay. I like I gotcha. how you didn't gotcha. sing it. <laughs> you were like, nope, I'm not singing along <laughs> with you, Paul. I'll speak the words, but... I'll fucking sing with you anytime, man. Great. Let's give them something <laughs> to talk about. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's your suggestion. Oh, they gave 1990 as a suggestion. Were you even alive? Yeah, but that's when uh, Twin Peaks came out. Somebody's. Is that true? Yeah. I think it was 1990 when it premiered. Holy right? Holy fucking shit! That's why Twin Peaks said that. All right, 1990, Titanic, and jaundice. Hmm. You want to tell a story or something? So yeah, saying, that's yeah. how we do it. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, I knew that. So do you have a 1990 story? Uh, now, why would we have a Titanic story? Have something to do with the movie, perhaps? Going to see it? Our own Titanic in our life? I got a disaster? A, I got a scene Titanic yeah. story. Yeah. So I went, um, hey, same girlfriend as the tardy, retardy okay. girl. Okay. Man, I, I guess that's what improv's that. sort of about. It's like making connections, right, and seeing parallels between things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's why I had the. I wish I had the bell right now, because instead of saying that, I <laughs> yeah, could just start just, clanging and on people it. People would know. Oh, they'd be saying this is fucking great. Uh, I went to see Titanic mm-hmm. opening night. Why? Uh, so it's just a big deal. Everybody knew it was going to be a big deal. Sure. And uh, it came out before Christmas, and I think it was a a Christmas gift. You gave your girlfriend <laughs> the gift of cinema. A gift of going to the movie. Okay, no, go I think ahead. we exchanged presents, and they were like, "Let's go out for dinner, and mm-hmm. then we'll go see this new romance picture." <laughs> okay. Titanic. Sure. So we watched the whole movie. It's about three hours long, and then at the end of the movie, as you remember, um, you know, Kate Winslet's on a door, and then yes. Leonardo DiCaprio's mm. in the cold water. Yeah. And he. He he loves her so much that he's willing to sacrifice his uh-huh. like warmth and his life, and you know at the end he like sinks down in the water. And in the theater, there was certainly a, a feeling of like, oh, that's that's a very that's a uh, sacrificial thing to do. That's big hearted. Maybe in our own lives we should aspire to be like Leo. And then you think that was the vibe going around? I the felt room. it. Yeah. After three hours, people are invested. They're like, this sure. guy did a good thing for this lady, right? Yeah. Maybe I can take a little piece of that with me. And, and we're then, all thinking, would I do that? Yeah. Could I do that? Yeah. Should I? <laughs> yes, yeah, should. Would. <laughs> we'll see. So then, you know, a few minutes pass and the movie's done and everybody goes out. And I was in Iowa at the time. Mm-hmm. And it was Christmas. You know, it was December. So it was like bitterly cold. And we got out at like 1 a.m. And I remember I went and uh, my girlfriend sat in the car and I was like scraping, you know, the ice off the windshield and sort of knocking the snow off like you have to do, you know, in the Midwest. (laughs) And then I look across and like three cars down, there's just a dude sitting in his car while his girlfriend like scrapes the windshield. (laughs) It's like, yeah, I know Leo might hang out in the cold ocean, but me, I'm going to warm up in the car. So wait a minute, you're saying you were a hero and you were out there in the cold. Oh, this yes, guy was I'm a sorry. jackass. That was the point of the story is what a great boyfriend I am. And remember, Matt, how earlier I said, God, I just wish I could go through life without hurting others. Yes. I'm just I'm letting you know I have a huge heart here, Matt. Oh my god, you had such a could you could have told that story without saying that you scraped off the stuff. You could have said that just I saw this guy. But like, You're right. You know what's funny that you say that? <laughs> As I started talking about the guy sitting there, I was like, I didn't have to talk about how I did it. I could have just lied and said I was walking on the theater and saw it. But no, you want the ladies out there watching to know Paul Rust oh, it's just... is chivalrous. <laughs> yes. Is that what you are? Yeah. Is that what that is? Chivalrous. Okay, honey. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Before we go, I agreed to do this cruise, and I think it is going to be a fun time. Oh, I honey, love this is going to be an amazing. The Greek islands sound a lot of fun, but let's just it's be beautiful. And I wouldn't call this a prenup or anything, but can we just come to an agreement of where we draw the line on? How should I put this? If certain things happen, like where do we draw the line on what would happen? Sure. I mean, I guess that's a good thing to talk about. Do you know we... what I'm saying? I mean, are you saying we should ra lay down some ground rules before the trip so that there isn't any confusion? There was just that big tragedy on the on the yes. cruise line where they- I didn't want to bring they... it up because I'm trying to but, just have a positive mind frame about this trip, honey. What if we got in a Titanic kind of situation where we're in the water? Okay. You realize that situation us... a couple of weeks ago wasn't the Titanic. It was a carnival cruise line. I know. I'm trying to take us to extremes. So if we get there, gotcha. Okay, okay. We just know where we're at, mm -hmm. and it doesn't become an argument or like I can't believe you're behaving like this. I, you know, what? I think this is a great idea. Because you know how it is, honey. When we're in the moment, once our tempers start rising, we we lose sight of everything. And that's why we like to look at the map before we start driving. Because mm -hmm. we need. Okay. Anyway, let's say there's only there's a door out there, and there's only room for one. Like in the middle, in the in the ocean. In the ocean. Okay, and there's only room on the door for one of us. Mm -hmm. I guess, I guess I would take the door. You know what? Since we're going to be in the Greek Islands and it's during the summer, I'll let you have the door. Thank you. If I can hold on, if I definitely can float by holding on to the door, I'll let you have the door. If by me holding on the door. It drowns both of us. Sort of tips it or wobbles it. I mean, if then so be it. Because hey, that's going to happen. Because I'm going to try to be holding on to the door one way or another. I won't be up on the door. I'll give you the door to be up on. Thank but you. I get to hold on to the door. And, you know, I know that sometimes this can lead to trouble saying, you know, we'll talk about it when we get there and we'll right, figure it out. Right, that's why I do this now. But let's say your hand, your little hand that's grasping on the door starts to make the door wobble or tip it or maybe i start falling into the water a little bit you promise to let go hold on you see i see what's going to happen what? is waves make the door look like it's going to tip and you're going to go on the first wave with the no, door no, 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 no. you're going to say Honey, oh look the door is tipping let I, go and i'm going to be like that's just the waves just that's why relax. we're talking about it now okay. i you have my guarantee that i won't blame it on the waves if I'm going to have you drown, for me, I'm not going to blame it on waves, babe. And why is it why is it drowning right away? Because I can go swim to something else, maybe. Well, I thought that was part of the agreement. That Let's it... just move on to okay, another sure, sure, scenario. Sure, sure, sure. Cannibals. Cannibalism. So let's just take this step by step. Let's right. first talk about... Let's not go to the big deal. Are we going to eat each other? Let's just talk no, about if we'd be comfortable. Let's do a few steps before that. If the two of us would just be okay with eating another person. Right. Are you going to judge me? Because you can get judgy with my diet. With I the would cupcakes be, if it came, and the Fritos. If it came down to there's nothing left but humans to eat, I'm of course I'm not going to judge you. I want you to live. But if you're going to eat the portions you do the way you do now where you just keep eating until you can't eat anymore then no i'd say eat one limb at a time okay i'm i'm just going to tell you now i'm not going to respond well to being monitored okay so if i need my space and i'm feeling like maybe having i don't know a second foot or a third foot Okay. Babe, you gotta let me be me, okay? And I'm gonna let you eat what you want to eat. That's more than being you. That's not okay. I'll being fair. With I'll rationing. do my best. I'll try my best. Let's just move on to another scenario. Fine. Okay. Um, well, I think there's there's a large chance that um, well, the bathrooms might go out. Okay. The ship starts going down. I'm sure plumbing's not going to be readily available. So, you know, at home we figure out how much time each person has in the bathroom. You get your 20 minutes in the morning, I get my 15. I'm not sure where this question's going. 
No, I will not watch you shit. Is that what you're going to say? Yes. I will not watch you shit under okay. any circumstances. I know I've asked this before, and it doesn't make eat someone while they're still alive sense in the context of us living together. No. I mean, I understand why you said no before, but if we're on a boat, then it's a little different, right? We're on vacation. That's just rude, and that ruins everything. There's no mystery left to you. Can I watch you shit? Right now? Yes. Before we go on this big trip. And scene. <laughs> Seth Morris in the house. Seth. Guys, can we talk about traffic on Sunset? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. I was Oof. trying to go up north on Highland. Ugh. Boy. Broke my back. <laughs> Literally. Oh, my gosh. It's good Literally. to see you, though, man. It's nice to see you. Hello? Seth, we're going to jump into it with a question for you from our fans from Kim McCown. <laughs> What's the worst advice you've ever given Mm. The worst advice I've ever given. <clears throat> um, gosh, that's a. I, I, hmm. Nothing immediately comes to mind. He's never given bad advice, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten bad advice. My dad one time said to my best friend and I, out, out of nowhere, he 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 was obviously trying to instill something. He goes, "I tell you what, man, rubbers is the best sex you'll ever have." <laughs> <laughs> When we were like 12, we were both kind of looking at him like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but you must have believed it. How would you know? Oh, I mean, uh, we hadn't, we weren't having sex then, but we just, knew, it was just obvious he was trying yeah. to do like a little like education there. It was just oh, awkward the way he brought right. it. Oh, I see. There was no context Putting on a rubber, <laughs> eating your vegetables. The real way to get high is not smoke pot. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right, folks. I think we should jump into some uh, crap on YouTube while we're waiting for sure. Brian Husky to show up. Crap on YouTube. Thank you. Let's see it. Okay, so we got a yeah? Jimmy Dean sausage complaint. Oh, yeah. mm, you've seen this, Seth? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I'm excited. Okay. Never close up on me. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> oh, shit. Where come from? I don't know if you test your products, your quantity of your products. Your products are very delicious. Love your sausage for 30-something years, but I can't take and feed a family of five on a little 12-ounce roll of sausage. <laughs> I don't mind paying you more money for your 16-ounce roll of sausage, but you don't have it anymore. You've got a 12-ounce roll, and you've got three men that weigh over 200 pounds apiece, <laughs> a woman that's a little plump Scotch girl <laughs> little. and a daughter who's 13 and you're going to try to take a 12 ounce roll of sausage and a couple of dozen eggs and feed that it ain't going to work and I'm not going to purchase your product <laughs> oh. anymore or ever again I and as far as your 16 <laughs> ounce of maple and sage I don't eat that I'm not from the north I'm a Texas man <laughs> Jimmy Dean sausage is for southern people to eat with the breakfast with the fried eggs and the T-bone steak. <laughs> and I can't see going so to a little 12-ounce package to feed four, five, six people. And I'm not going to buy two of those 12-ounce packages just because you want to downsize and charge the same goddamn price. Uh, <laughs> I'd sure like a reply, and I'd sure like you to go back to your 16-ounce package on your regular sausage because I'm not going to buy it otherwise ever again. I'll just have my own damn sauce made like I used to 30-something years ago. It's not as tasty as yours is, but it'll work. Why Goodbye. can't he buy two you know, rolls? Ounce goddamn roll of sauce is supposed to feed your brother and me and you 600 pounds of men. You're fat as shit. Yeah. <laughs> and the two girls, and they put it in that fucking pussy roll of sauce. Whoa! Son of a bitch. Somebody needs their ass kicked. Some little <laughs> consumer geek roll Fuck this shit up. Save money. Save money. Yeah, save money. Save money. So fuck, I'm going to eat, goddammit. Whoa. <laughs> I ain't going to eat your Obama sausages. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for coming in for the Jimmy Dean focus group. Um, thanks for having us. We had a lot of respondents, but you guys had the most suggestions and complaints. So let's just get it out on the table and we'll maybe we can solve each other's complaints because you guys have sure. a lot. Sure. sure. <laughs> go ahead. Who wants to go first? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for having us here. Where are you from? 
I'm a Texas man. <laughs> That's good. Because... We're both Texas men. Yeah. We're from Butter, Texas. Oh, you know each other? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We're both Butter Boys. Butter Boys. Butter, Texas? Butter, Texas. Um, we made sure we only brought... The, as a matter of fact, of all respondents, there was I think it's 95% Texans. We didn't know that. Any that... other uh, Butterins? Do you notice? You know, I wasn't focusing on where it's coming. I'm going to go back and look at that. Actually, I'm, we, I feel we like we buddies. might have should have spread it out a little bit instead of a small town. I never heard of two guys. Well, is Dale go- Oshak here? Is he another guy? He Dale. might be late. We have one guy that's Dale supposed Oshak. to show up. Well, anyway, I'm. He's a good I guy. thank you for coming here for this this forum. And to me, it's a height of democracy because I'm here. You know I don't like you. You know I'm upset. You, you still invited me in, and I appreciate that. You're saying that. me. I'm just the focus group guy. You, you mad are at me? a symbol. You, you are the face. Yep. All right. Go ahead. You represent, and tell me if I'm, if you don't agree with me. Oh, I will. But you represent all that is evil. <laughs> just me or Jimmy Dean Sausage? You and your people. Okay, and your hold people. on. Now, I've read both of your guys, both suggestions. What was the guy's name again? The other guy? Dale Oshack. Dale Oshack, come on in. Dale Oshack. This is a Jimmy Dean focus group, and you three have the most complaints and suggestions for, Dale. I one guess, of the... how to improve our product. Dale, it's good to see you. Oh, thanks. I'm really sorry, guys. I, I had to uh, I had to run some uh, testing on some new casing we got, you know, for the sausage. Uh, we started making our own damn sausage. We you got did? so fed up. Okay, because you don't work for Jimmy Dean Sausage. You have a problem with our product. Let's hear about what's going on, guys. But I've been running my own testing on some casing is what I'm saying. That's right. Thank so you, you might be in Thank for... you. I'll tell so... you what the problem is. You went from a 16-ounce package of delicious meat. Right. To a two ounce nugget of meat like pellets. And I don't know what how do you mean you... two ounce. We have a twelve ounce now. You know what? Potato potato. I mean the size when you're right. eating sausage. I'm not you don't here gauge... to talk about what math I mean is. look at yeah. us. Look at us, man. That's We're right. each three hundred pounds. That's right. We run big in Butter Texas. We've yeah. got I got myself, I've got my brother, I've got my other brother, I've got my sister I've got and the women in our fun family run large. Oh yeah, I and I'm, my I'm, daughter's huge. She's yeah. big. She does not float. I'm so fat. That's just what I call different parts of my body. I got my brother, my other brother, mm-hmm. my sister's my butt. Mm-hmm. You know. So maybe you shouldn't be eating. Maybe just one sausage patty is plenty. Oh, here we per go. Person. Oh, here we okay. go. Oh, is okay. this something that's come up before? Why don't okay. you here? Here, why don't you take my gun too while you're regulating yeah. things that are going on in my I body? Don't well, how many guns do you have? If we're gonna go with this metaphor, I got uh, metaphorically or how many real guns? Yeah, how many guns do you have in my real life? Yeah, I have seven guns. So maybe you only need one. It's oh. the same thing. Why don't? Yeah. Wow. First they come for your guns. Yeah. And then, then they come for your sausages. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. we spoke about the sausages first. Then they come for uh, uh, like the, uh, your couch, probably. They probably come take for your. They couch. come okay. for your wee after that, guys. I found it wee. weird that you all are from the same town. You obviously have talked about this before, but all your complaints and suggestions were completely different. Well, so we're you don't different seem people. To, you don't seem to line up. What are your problems with the sausage? Too big. Too big. Yeah. Yep. Do you guys fight about this? All that like cats and mean cats. <laughs> no, I thought you were a big fat guy that wanted a lot. Why do you think it's too big? Hey, you just said I'm a big fat guy. I'm trying to lose my weight That's here. Right. Well, why don't you give some of your sausage to the rest of the, the because people Because that that's his sausage. goddamn sausage. Yeah. Jeez, Everybody's got their own sausage. You can't step on a man's sausage. Yeah. All right. So too big. We well, don't have to eat it all. So how can anything be oh, too big? You don't have to eat it listen, all. <laughs> listen to Mr. Russia. Well, you get food and you got to save it bit by bit just in case a oh, you know, neighbor comes over and steals it from don't you. Don't you have a family? Yeah. Who else lives with you? Huge fat people. Huge fat. Yeah. Do you know that we are three of the only people in Butter that have been out of their houses in the last seven years? Yeah. Are you saying because you... Have the, the people, ability to leave, and they don't. We have we are thin enough to move through door through the door frames. Well, or expanded door frames, butter buttercup. Yeah, double Most, double let, double let me put it this way: most Buttercup. of the children in Butter, Texas, don't know the difference between their own skin 
and the sofa skin that they their skin is fused into. Yeah, sofa Grapped skin. Into, into. A lot of the kids What's are, your problem with the sausage? Well, my problem is the, was with the goddamn... Get them, Oshak. It's with the, Sick them. It's with the goddamn casing, okay? What about the casing? Well, I, all right, just for anyone who doesn't know much about sausage, which is a crime in this country... Oh, he smells blood mm-hmm. now. The mm-hmm. casing is the thing that keeps the entrails and guts inside of the sausage. Sure. It gives it that pleasant, penile shape that we all love to shove. Is that why you like it? No, no, just making a uh, a, a comparison. Now, my problem with the casing is that sometimes it's a little too tough. And if I'm in an eating frenzy, I don't need to be focusing on chewing. I need that thing to just break down as fast as possible and get down in my stomach. (laughs) Jimmy Dean has wonderful casing. And I would surprise most homemade... Uh, casing is always thicker than the Jimmy Dean stuff. Well, that's why I buy the Jimmy Dean. I'm not going to go to some hippie's sausage factory and. You get said his you stuff. made your own casing. I do that just as a hobby, just to get just get in touch with myself. My 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 therapist said that I need to take up a hobby instead of eating, so I'm making sausage casings. Okay. You guys should try it. It's Maybe really use good. It at your uh, Jimmy Dean factory. I use it as a condom. That's how good it is. That's how strong it is. Mm, condoms. That's the best sex. Mm. Oh, let me let me are ask. Are we you. changing the subject? Because yeah. I love condom sex. Let me let me ask you. Go ahead. Which of us had the best complaint? Do you think? Oh, we don't have to make it into that. Well, maybe. too small, mm. too big. Hate the casing. Is that what it is? My complaint. Oh was no, too, I thought you meant tough. my complaint was too small. My. Oh yes, sorry. I, you, 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 I thought you, my I complaint was too that. big. Yeah. Okay. You summarized that. I wasn't that well. criticizing. Your complaint. So uh, my my. I don't well, think you realize how hurtful you can be. Hold on. Let's and just get on to the positive. Might... Let's get on to the positive. Su- the <laughs> suggestions you had for sausages. All right then. Who wants to start on the suggestions? Colors. Mm. What did you mean by that? I saw that. Different colors, sausages. Color coding system. You so... mean beyond the red kind of brown? Well, make that it. Already is? I think that you should make it sort of like the uh, the terrorist alert. You mm-hmm. know. If you're super hungry, make make them some red ones. Make it, you're under attack. You're in a hunger attack. You gotta stop the terrorists by eating some sausage. But is there any difference between them besides the? Well, color? you could have yellow, which would just be like in the bathroom if you're sitting on the toilet <laughs> munching on some sausage. I don't think you should eat sausage in the bathroom. Well, I don't think you should judge me for my lifestyle choices. How Friend, I got two words for you: toaster, sausage. Toaster sausage. Mm-hmm. Sausage you can like, put in the toaster. Like the He's waffles you can make in the toaster. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, mm-hmm. but the grease will fall down into the toaster and ruin it. We've tried this. I have a suggestion I think We've that might this. might be a big hit with the younger generation. Go Down Downloadable sausages. You go to your computer. Maybe you're in a uh, internet cafe having a coffee. Nothing better to dunk in that coffee than a big old sausage. You download it. You eat it. And you give the finger to the... To the, mm-hmm. the kid in the Warby Parker glasses next to you. Fuck you. <laughs> My glasses cost more than you make in a month. Okay. And I didn't even write that one down. All right, well. I got two more words for you. I wish you had. Sausage patch. Oh, Sausage patch. It's yeah. time to release it seeps flavor. Into it you? seeps into your skin. You okay. get the, the fats and the greases that are inherent in mm-hmm. Jeremy Dean is it, sausage. Is it, mm-hmm. Isn't taste what you like from a sausage more than the fats? I'll be honest. Grease? I rarely taste the food. Yeah, I never. I just yeah, I, I burned my taste buds so. in a Jimmy Dean grease fire when I was 11 years <laughs> <And> old. <see. laughs> <laughs> Let's do another. Oh, welcome, Brian. We should give hey, you a... Hey, Brian. Guys, I'm so sorry. You know, L.A. traffic can be uh, really I, zany. I told him. Uh, really uh, zany. Let's have a conversation about sunset. I, it's, it's, I was taking crazy back streets and just seeing all sorts of... Oh, you know what's funny? I was stuck in traffic here. And there was, some guy was walking across the street, looked like he worked at like a temp worker kind of, you know, like office khakis and stuff. <clears> and <throat> I just looked at him for a second, then I turned away, and then I heard, what the fuck are you looking at? Whoa. <laughs> And then I was afraid to like. I don't know if he was talking to me or somebody else's eyeball. I was looking at you, sir. I was fucking looking at you. I I had almost the exact same thing happen today. I do my walk and walk past fucking crazy people all the time. But this guy, I'm walking my head on my jet sh- uh, shirt, and he was like, blah, man, um, jets, blah, jets. I think he said Herm, some about Herm Edwards and the N word a few times. And I turned and went, what? He goes, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my dad. Are you paranoid? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's talking to his dad. That's great. Wow. Right. I'm not paranoid. 
All right, what's your question, Brian? To you, it is. Okay, that's a little too typical. I'm gonna oh. go for that one. Oh man, really put me on the spot here. Right? This <laughs> one is gonna be good. Oh man, here I'll do some paperwork. I let the people Get at ready. home see what the process is. This guy, what is this guy wrote two different questions. Russ Martochi says, "How do you hide?" And then another question was, "What do you hide?" <laughs> How do you I think hide? Russ is hiding something. Yeah, Russ is a bit Russ. of an imp with his questions. Isn't he? <laughs> so, and ma- why would he admit to that? Why would we admit to something we hide? I guess you don't have to be ashamed of it. Uh, I'm just going to say the truth. I think that's what he's talking about, right? How do you hide the truth? What do you hide? Sex toys. The truth. You don't hide the truth, though. No, I don't. Be honest. What do you hide? What do I hide? It could be a key. Hmm. You probably hide something from your daughter. Uh, well, because of Google Chrome, you can go incognito, and if you want to look at naked ladies, you can hide that. Hmm? Wait, what you, do you mean? Uh, Chrome has built in a porn-enabling browser thing where you uh, you do this keystroke thing, and it and it does a, a browser window that has no history. It doesn't show up on your thing, oh. and you, oh. and you just hit like one button and it disappears. Oh, I mean, it's funny. the most overt, like sort of like, and and for everyone who loves porn, we, <laughs> yeah, 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 we yeah. have this wonderful feature. Brett, do we have any callers? Let's take a caller. Yeah, we do. I forget what we asked our caller, Paul. What did we ask him? Uh, I didn't have a very firm. Oh, what what they? Oh, what did happened today? today? Yeah. Okay, who's okay. online? Who's on Improv for Humans? Here we go. Here we go. This is the first time we're doing this. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, bad self Hello? The call's coming from 1941. Hello? Oh, hi. Hi there. Welcome to Improv for Humans. Hi. What's your name? My name is Katie. Hi, Katie. Where are you calling from? Are you hiding the truth? I am calling from Minnesota. Oh. All right. Ooh, you guys are playing I know. Lakers it's today. pretty awesome. Okay. What did you do today? <laughs> what happened? What did I do today? I worked, unfortunately. Where? It's a Thursday. It's the middle of the week. Okay. We're losers, but what? What? Where do you work? <laughs> I work at CCP. I work for. I manage group homes for developmentally disabled adults. Oh, I used to, to go, do that. Paul. You used to work at them, or I, I used. To, I didn't manage, but I worked at them. So you handle oh, m- multiple ones. I manage two homes. So do you? Do you? Do you spend the night there as well? Oh, God, no. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm the manager. I have staff to do that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I did. Let me Have you Have you uh, ever had scabies? Oh, have I ever had scabies? No. Oh, I got scabies but a you lot know when I worked at Great Homes. <laughs> you got scabies at work? Yeah, I did. Not anymore. I'm not we a scumbag. Have... <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple houses that got bed bugs pretty bad. Uh. Which of the two houses yeah. is sort of the the crazier one? Which do you have nicknames? <laughs> I mean, which one is like the animal the house? <laughs> which <is> the... <laughs> I used to work at one house where I got punched by a client twice. Mm. Thanks. Oh, yeah. yeah, luckily he didn't have a really good arm, <laughs> and it was so it wasn't too bad. But uh, that was a pretty crazy house. So what happened today, Katie? What happened today? Well. Are you ready for this excitement? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I talked to somebody from Coburn's, ordered some groceries. Is Coburn's a grocery store? Oh, sorry. I didn't know if this was just a Minnesota thing. Um, yeah, they deliver groceries to your door. Oh, hey. Coburn's. I know. It's pretty handy. Okay. And uh, then I wrote up a few staff. Oh, for, you are? Oh, for yeah. infractions? I did. Infraction with like not what? shoveling. Oh, uh, outside, right? Yeah, we have. That must be a big a thing lot. in yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. So many people miss Minnesota get fired because they're not shoveling. We have a ton of ice. And yeah. it's dangerous for and the clients. And when you do? have people and walkers and stuff, you have to be careful. So. You guys got walkers. I had to lay down the law. Yeah. Now, what do you tell them you're going to write them up, or is it? Do you? Is it? Oh like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Was it we have Vance? this thing where we're Vance allowed to like write them up and send it to um, HR, and they have no idea. So then, when we want them gone, we can be like, "Look at the twenty notes that are in your file that you had no idea about." Ooh, wow! What's the has an employee ever blown up on you? Has an employee? Um, I did have one employee got 
um, I was pulling him from shift, and he said I was doing it because I was racist. Oh, are, are you? you? Yeah. <laughs> she is from Minnesota. That's right. He caught me. Yeah. What, no. um, <laughs> what uh, is there a typical um, or the the type of person that works there? Like they're older? Do they skew older, younger? Um, are they hippies? Or they... um, you know what? To be honest, we get a lot of people from Africa. Oh, really? And the, what yeah, they just kind of, it's a lot of like a part of their culture to take care of, you know, the older uh -huh. generations and people who are disabled and stuff. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, which is why the racist call or card got pulled. Right. Uh, you know. Mm, right. Yeah. That's got to be, yeah. Okay, Katie, any last words about what happened today? Um, Brian, well, I can say that you pretty much made my day. All uh, right. Well, thank happy. you, Minnesota. So thank you for that. Uh, all right. Thank <laughs> okay, you for calling. Thanks. Thank you. Let's do some improv based on Katie's info there, guys. Um, Seth, can you come in here for a second, please? Right now? Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. That. I know you're doing right. something. Sure. Uh, okay. Yep. Um, so I don't know how to put this. Um, we have been... Are you sure you want to do this now? Because I... What? What do you have to do? We're working on puzzles out there. I, they can do... They'll be fine. Okay. They're cardboard, right? Yeah. Okay. So if they eat them, it's fine. Listen, you have been written up. Um, and uh -huh. and our, our policy is not to let people know that we've been writing them up. Okay. You've been here for 11 years. 11, yeah. And at this point, you have 455 infractions. What? Okay. Going how far back? From the start, from day one. I mean, wh why wouldn't you let me know about this? I could try That's to not policy. My... That's not policy. Our policy is just to secretly write them down and, um, you know, to kind of feel frustrated with you and not directly confront you on it. Um, and eventually it's going to sort of build up to something. But right now you're, you're at 455. At 500 is when we're going to say something and be, like, really mad. So I just want to let you know really? that's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's my average? I mean, how many do I get? A, a, am I averaging a certain number per week? Because then I can know when I'm done at this job. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. Let me look at the charts here. Uh, you, Sharon, is this, about, is this about something else? Huh? Is this about something else? No, it's not. Oh, how's your girlfriend? She's great. Great. I still have her. Okay. So. Hey, man. I heard you... Went to the big office today, huh? Yeah, it was really weird. How many infractions do you have? I have like 455 infra infractions. Yeah, I had, I had like uh, 697 infractions last week. Really? Yeah, but I, I bought out of it. A lot wow. of them. You can buy out infractions. Oh, like cap and trade kind of a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. She'll barter infractions well, with she, you. Well, she, she, she's got a weird... She thinks we've got a weird sexual chemistry, but I, well, she really freaks me out. She's always wearing those prairie dresses and cover up all those scars on her body oh hi seth hi sharon um just <coughs> dropping by the office to talk or anything um well actually do you want some uh poppy seed bread no thank you are you sure yeah your poppy seeds are gigantic the last time i had some that... yeah yeah i know They're, they have more flavor in that way well um i i was talking to to dale um, mm -hmm. Oshak Jr. <laughs> uh -huh. And he's, he said, mentioned about a buyout program. Is there some way I can like kind of buy out my, get rid of some of these infractions, oh. these write-ups? Oh, you mean the you scratch? Hey, if you're going to burn that sage, can you crack a window, please? Uh, no, I need it. I need it the room. It is very smoky in here. I know, but I need to, uh, there was, I had a, a, an encounter with a, another worker that was very negative and i need to get that negativity out of here right now okay okay so, uh, oh i'm sorry the fire alarm's yeah going i off. mean if you just open a window well it's, it's not it's be... not dangerous it's sage so they know that when the when the fire department gets here so brian um we heard about your little sage mishap <laughs> yesterday at work mm -hmm. I want you to know that we are writing that up as an infraction but that's not that's not an infraction that, that sage is a natural it's thing. not an on the record infraction, but it's going to be a you're not going a to deep, deep double cover infraction. You're not doing a deep cut secret <sighs> vault infraction on me, are you? I, I am. I thought I would let you because we are friends. I wanted to give you a heads up so that this doesn't 
catch you in the ass uh, okay, six but months from now when you're You down. know what this does to you if you revealed the secret double down. Hey, I got a triple infraction hanging over me because I told you. I know. Hey, and, and you've got a baby on the way, right? Heaven's Gate. Next. Uh, hi. Uh, Name. If I say hi to everyone, it just slows the whole I thing know, down. I know, I know. Everyone hear that? Just... Just step up and say your name. No, oh, I. No, oh, I got it. Not yet. Late. My turn. It's, you all died. It, okay. You'll figure out how you died. What you get inside. All I do is take your name and figure out if you get inside. Is my daughter? Is my daughter here? Send her downstairs. Send that guy downstairs. Um, my name is uh, Sharon Brian. Okay. Which one's your first name? Well, it's Brian, Sharon Brian, but I'm a female. But the family name was so important that they, they used it twice. So which is your last name? Brian. This robe doesn't fit. <laughs> you're lucky kinda... you're not naked. You sh I'm very comfortable in my outfit. I made my outfit. I made it from an old quilt that I found at a thrift store. All right, you're not supposed to bring your own shit up here. So Is that where all those positive. moths are coming from? Yeah, yes. I don't kill any creatures. All right, let's see. Hey, if you uh, see my daughter, can you just tell her I'm around? I'm going to be around here for the next 20 oh, minutes. Oh, yeah, because I know who your daughter is. Well, that's on, that's what's happening. But you're the gates of heaven. I know, but I haven't gotten your name yet. If I knew your, na your daughter's name, I know your name would have to ask. God, I hate this job. All right, Sharon Branch. Hey, do you guys watch all the movies? What does that mean? Like Heaven movies, like Heaven's Gate or that Albert Brooks movie. I'm sorry, this is so funny. You're just ahead. What happened to you? <laughs> I mean, this is so crazy. I have no idea. Why would they give me a robe? <laughs> I don't know. Did you did you get de decapitated or what happened? Uh, all I know is I was at my friend's bachelor party uh -huh. and, and uh, somebody dared me to ride a subway. And next thing I know... I'm here. Dared oh. you to ride a subway? Surf the subway. So. Oh, subway surfing. You from Brazil? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I noticed my accent's gone. <laughs> this is so weird. I think your accent is probably... The we all sound the same to each other up uh, here. That's yeah, why. It's, it's a very... It's There's a, a babble fish yeah, in Everyone sounds ear. like they're from Minnesota Anyway. Here. You're really slowing down the I'm line. I'm so sorry. You I'm, are I'm a on the person. list. Okay. You are on the list. Thank you so heaven. much. However... Oh. I see here you have a, a deep cut oh. on the deep cuts yeah, infraction. Yeah, I, I have a double secret vault infraction. Well, a lot of people here do, but not this many. Do you know how many you have? Do you oh. have any idea? No, I thought I just had the one. No, 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 no. Oh. You have 14. What the hell? Don't say that word. What the fucking hell? You're I'm just sorry. Get I'm, more. No, I am sorry. I do not deserve 14. You have to go back to Earth uh, into someone else's body. Language. Oh, no. If I had you, legs, I'd walk away. I'm sorry, Head. You have to go back to Earth, oh. and with a new body, you have to perform a good deed. Ooh. And then you can get back guys, to heaven. Guys, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Oh. I got to take off. So if you see my daughter, what just tell her to stay put. I'll be right back. Is I gotta she, run to the bank. Is she all burned up like you? <laughs> and see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to. Okay, I get to. I was about to say I have to do an ad. Oh. I get to do an ad, folks, because this is Audible.com, the greatest advertiser in the history of podcasting. Have you guys heard sure. this thing, Whisper Sync? No. Yeah. 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 Totally. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> this is the thing where you're like you're you're reading on your Kindle and you're like I can't I gotta drive now I can't read then it goes beep beep boop right <laughs> where you left off it starts playing on your Audible oh. in your fucking ear oh. then you go to where you want to read start reading picks up right there that uh, is yeah the I don't like it I want a computer that gives you eyeballs with the words of the book you were reading so you can put those eyeballs in while you drive yeah. and uh. read while you drive. All right. That's probably what audible.com is working on right now. Audible.com slash Earwolf Live so they know that you saw it here. Come on, guys. Go there. Audible.com Earwolf Live. That's audible.com slash Earwolf Live. 
uh, need a book suggestion? What about H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds? I bet mm, he read it. No, nah, don't do you believe think he it. Read it. I don't think don't he ever read it, no. that. He never no, read he never it. Read no. That. What do you think his voice would sound like if he read it? Jerk. Is that a line from the book? The aliens are. Yeah, that's the that's the opening line. All right, folks. Audible.com. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, what are we doing now? Can we do the, your, your best, best story? story? Let's do it. Our viewers send in their best story. Go to the forums and find out your more best about story. Ooh, How you wow. can send in your best story. Robots, sexy us. robots. Okay, this is Rebecca's vodka submission. robot. All right, let's bring it on, Rebecca. Hi, I'm Pro for Humans. I'm Matt Messer. Hi, Engineer Brett. Pardon me. Uh, oh, right. smoking a cigarette. Um, I a couple of years ago was going out casually with a guy who was older, who was I was probably more indulgent than I should have been for the for the situation that it was and how casual it was. <laughs> he really wanted to have group sex. Yeah, it was like not something that I was into, but I was like, he's pretty hot. Maybe I'll go there for him, you know. So he tells me about this um, sex party in New Jersey, right over the bridge. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's good. You know, the wife look a little, like, like she's, you know, maybe 45. She might be hot. I'm 20, 22 at the time, probably. <laughs> um, I'm like, all right, you know, okay. Like, pack my bag full of condoms and shit. Um, I don't know what to expect. And we're like, both of us on the way, you know, he's done this kind of thing before, but he still doesn't really know what it's going to be. And I'm definitely, like, driving and freaking out. And so we get there. I'm like, okay, you know, we go inside. Everyone's wearing clothes. They're all, like, about 50. Half of them are wearing, like, Harley Davidson t-shirts. Yeah. One of them has a guitar. And he's, like, got his, like, harmonica strapped on. And he's, like, doing long songs. Like, it, it was really weird. And, it's obviously like a middle-aged couple lived there, lived there, had their pictures of their kids everywhere, and uh, and so the guy introduces me like, oh yeah, you know, these are the hosts, it's their house, and I'm like, oh, it's a lovely, lovely house you got here, you know, and he's like, yeah, you'd hardly be able to tell, it's four trailers put together, and I was like, yeah, I wouldn't have thought it, you know, and so... We're both so uncomfortable. I go into the bathroom for like a good eight minutes, probably, and just kind of hyperventilate for a little while and do recollect myself. And uh, I come out, and like everyone's eating like shrimp cocktail <laughs> and like cheese tables and drinking Jack Daniels. And um, he said, the guy I came with says to me, go start the car. <laughs> and you know, go out for a smoke and and go start the car and I'll meet you out there. So oh, I drive to the end yes. of the driveway and he like tuck and rolls into the car pretty much <laughs> and we like take off. Uh, and that was one of the last times I saw him, I think. I, the night didn't end well. I was like, Oh well we can still hang out and he was like, No, I'll just go home now. <laughs> so I don't know if you'll end up using that, but Yeah, that's that a great story. A story. Good wow. story. Yeah. Holy shit, sex party. It is always those 50 year old dumpy mm -hmm. <laughs> on a track. <laughs> oh man. Ding dong. Uh, uh, Are you nervous? I am. I am nervous. Just don't be nervous. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to the party. Hey, come on in. Come, come on, on in. in. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I left. Huh? I left my gloves. <laughs> Yeah, you won't need gloves. No, no, no. I mean, Stuart, Stuart, Stuart gloves. what are you doing? You what are you talking about? <laughs> Remember, we've left. No, 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 me, no. I'm sorry. Can I just talk to my... I'm, sure. I'm Jessica, by the way. Hi, Jessica. Hi, hey, Jessica. Stuart. My, oh. uh, my, hold on just a second. I think I dropped my gloves. My name, hold on. I would hold on. Introductions real fast. Uh -huh. I'm Vapo Rub. Uh-huh. Um, I'm Tamby. Uh, okay. Your name's Tam Meat. Tamby. 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 I'm Tam told I have a slight resemblance to Jeffrey Tambor. Yeah. Oh. So they call me Tamby. Oh, I love it. Well, you look. That's a beautiful moo moo. I, I gotta get my glove right now. Okay, Devin, what's going on? 
We'll leave the door open and stand right here and watch you guys so you don't feel nervous is, about the upcoming is Tammy event. A woman? I don't care. They're both hot. What are you talking about? I don't really know. Just so freaky. Oh, don't be a prude. Hey, what was your Tam- idea? Tammy, you got that dry slat down there all lubed up and ready to go. Extra dry. Uh-huh. This, gonna, listen is how it, free they are with their uh, bodies. This isn't the photos. They they don't look like the photos they put I on know, the but site. that's, I kind of, I you guys me, don't mean, look like the photos that you put on the side. No, noticed. no, you know why? Because I'm a school principal, and if I have my actual photo on there, that could be a real problem for the community. <laughs> so I decided not to have my photo on there. <clears throat> and Tamby, ble- yeah. as the ancient Indian uh, believed <gasps> their soul Ooh, would be wow, sold. What's in there? Is that hot dog toast? Yep, we got Can hot dog some? toast. Wow. We got some toaster str- uh, sausages. I'm sorry, I just oh. remember, nice I just remember from your profile yeah. you said absolutely no redheads. And you're both redheads. Well, for tonight, uh, tonight's ginger night. Everybody uh, dyed them, their hair is red. Pubes and all. Anal pubes, arm pubes. Oh, my God. Yeah, anal really. pubes, too. Yeah, anal pubes. So if that. you guys want to come in here, dunk your head in the the, 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 the red dye. bucket. Yeah, the red bucket. <laughs> guys, I'm just I'm going to be honest. I'm a yeah. little shy. This is our first oh, time doing this. Oh, we got this. some newbies. Oh, we got some newbies. If you go over and uh, drink. Drink some of that red bucket. Yeah. It'll loosen you up real good. It'll get you. We've been passing loose. it around, dunking our heads in it, taking yeah. sips. Devin, I think this could be really good for us. But be careful, little. We don't even loose. know how this works, to be honest. Okay, like, well, how come, does this on start? come on in. Come on in. Okay, come on in. Close that big All old door right. behind you. Oh, the first, the first uh, rule. Is... Oh, is this? Can anybody just take these lottery tickets and yep. just do a scratch? Yeah, just start Ooh, scratching. Fine. Now what we do oh, is we put on like Mr. In... Phil Collins' no jacket required <laughs> oh. on the boombox. Wow. Are these peanut shells? Yep. Eat some peanut shells. Just hit, tuck into those peanut and shells. And hey, just so you know, while Phil's singing that nose jacket. Required. Mm. We're singing no, no. jackets. Yeah, no we pants. go bareback around no here. Shoes, I nothing. thought you were gonna do nothing. a port like a yes jacket required. Oh, yes, no, jacket, no, no. Yeah, jacket no. off. No, no. Dude, you These never act like fun. this. You I never know. act like this. You know what? We try not but to go blue around. We're never here. in Barstow. That's why. Let me. Ask, what's your What's your name, sweetheart? Jessica. My name's Jessica. And you're again. What's your Devin. name? Devin. Devin. All right. I'm Tamby. Tamby. <laughs> and you got vapo rub here. All right. Now, I apologize. That the, I think the, maybe the first time we just want to watch. Is that well, right? here's the thing. There was a bit of an email snafu, and we're the only people here tonight. Normally, oh. we have about 15 of us. But, um, the, yeah. Yeah. So if, got, you, if you just watched us, you'd just be watching it just, two people have sex. It's yeah. not really But that's like sex. a first step for yeah. us. Maybe a good well, first step. I guess step. so. Do you want to give them a quick one? Mm-hmm. All right. Bring over Are you that throwing bucket. up? Are you okay? Get yeah. that bucket over here. Yeah. I'm going to need it. Yeah, all right. Get I here. just want to see if... Okay, here we go. If she... Here we go. We can find out what sex she is. All right, this, you wanna see, this is a oh. move I call the Aztec gods. All right, get your face down, down on the pillow. Hold on, it takes get a your while face to down get my face pillow. down. You All know right. you can't just snap your fingers. I'm going to reach in my... there, and I'm going to pull out ah! my heart. Ah! Oh, my God, is he beating her? Oh, ah! boy. Oh, she seems like she's enjoying boy. herself. Oh, boy. Meow. Meow. Oh, You're look a at that kitty cat. Oh, meow, 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 meow. And I just ejaculated from my wiener. <laughs> and I just ejaculated from my vagina. Uh, I'm a girl. Yeah, I'm a she's girl. a girl. She's the only bald woman in Barstow, and she embraces it in such a beautiful fashion. God, so now that you've seen. So look at you, you teeny tiny little thing. Yeah. <laughs> look at those. So look vulnerable. So... Look at those long breaths. Look what? at those things just going endlessly. Oh, well, now and that... see. <laughs> 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 All right, let's uh, crap on YouTube at least one more time. Who's this from? Crap on YouTube. Not sure who this is from. Not sure. Um, this is uh, Sabbath fan flips out. Oh, mm. never heard of it. But I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah! Give it up! Give it up, baby! Yeah. 
Sam Kinison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like if Sam Kinison played one of the, the Bears guys. <laughs> if you're that big a fan, how are you not first in line? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing! Wow, <laughs> he is so calm, and he would just get right back to. It. But he, he like when he no, when he noticed the camera was still on him, he yeah. didn't he'd ramp up again. Yeah, he was quiet when he took a picture. Okay. <clears throat> um, are you um, are you a, a big Kenny Loggins fan? I'm the biggest, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm, I've been here for uh, well, it's the first night, but uh, yeah. you can see I'm ready. I've got. Uh, Got the lawn chair, got the sleeping bag, got the. Uh, I love him so much. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's. I've liked him since Loggins and Messina. M me too. Are you? Oh, I love, I love him. Oh wow. Loggins. <laughs> what? Mm, sorry. You like? Are you? All right, guys. Kitty Loggins. Uh, he's. Let's keep this line moving. Hey everybody! Hey everybody! How's it going? House on Pooh Corner. Thank you. Thank you. I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you. It's always nice to meet fans. Nobody's worried about me. What? Nobody's worrying about me. No one is worrying about him, Kenneth. How many of you? How long have you? All right. Nobody's worried about me. I'm a big Vox Humana fan. It's always nice to meet some Loggins heads. I think I'm your biggest fan. No, I am. I'm your biggest fan. Hey, you, no. guys, you guys are all Loggins fans, huh? Now you excited for the concert tonight, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I am, yeah, but I'm the biggest one, Kenny. No. Seriously, no, man. Kenny, okay, I need to show you something that I had tattooed on my stomach, okay? Oh, big deal. Oh, go big ahead, deal? Though. Go ahead. Okay. And then You're... I'll show you the five things I have tattooed on my stomach, but go ahead and show okay. you one thing. Okay. I'd love to see your tattoos. Okay. It's your face. And the belly button is your 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 mouth got singing, it, got it. singing, a high note. Yeah. Okay. I got that too. But if you look at my back, it's the back of your head. Do you have the back of his head on the, your back? No, and that on, looks like the back of Alice Cooper's head to no, me. No, it's not. They I mean, used the back of Alice no, Cooper's head it, tattoo. You've never even probably seen your no, own back. I, I, it doesn't look like Kenny's back of his head at all. My sister said she did a great job, and it looks exactly oh, like the back of your head. Be honest. Be honest. Yeah. Is that the back of Alice Cooper's head? Kenny, don't. Get the fuck Kenny, out of here! Get, get, get the fuck, fuck out of here! Whoa. Whoa. I, stupid, stupid no. bitch. What? <laughs> I brought my Kenny Lund suicide gun in case this ever happened. Screwed up. You fucked up. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
fucking Oh my god. Shit. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Nice. I got blood oh all over me. <laughs> <laughs> she shot her fucking face hey, all over right, me. It's all right everybody. You it's think all that right. Was Mr. Mr. Loggins, are you okay? I'm fine. Hey, guys, I got so many brains all over it's, me. Uh, hey, listen. I'm not all hey, right. Hey, everybody, calm down. Someone should worry about me. I'm good. Everybody gets a, 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 a greatest hits. Kenny Loggins' greatest hits. Hey, CD. hold on. Hey, we didn't talk about this. Oh no. Okay. Sorry. Gr- greatest hits though growing trees. Okay? Everybody gets a Kenny Loggins wait, uh, wait, beer wait, cozy. Wait, better. Wait, wait, better. wait. Cozy. Time out. Have you guys been saying Kenny Loggins? Yes. I'm I'm Kenny Loggins. I'm embarrassed. Who do you, you think thinking? this was? Kenny G? Kenny Rob Kenny Kenny Rogers. Rogers. <laughs> Kenny Rob Kenny Rogers. I'm a big fan of the that's gambler. Across he's across the street. He's had so much plastic surgery. I thought you were him. I'm no, so I'm not, sorry. I'm not. Oh, him. I'm so that's sorry. across the street. I apologize. I, I, I do a cover of the gambler if you want. Rogers. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Miss Lady. <laughs> And scene. <laughs> <laughs> what do I, do we get to all our segments today, <coughs> Brett? Yeah, I think so. What about the oh, questions? No, questions. questions. No, questions. And now Zach does coming he in. Questions? See, we almost made him do all that work and forgot about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> we have a we have in the Zach, card. Who he go get us. These are questions that came in live on the YouTube feed. My dad missed my graduation because he was too busy spreading mustard and mayonnaise from separate jars. Okay. <laughs> Toss that one away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh wow, we got some zany ones. I'm not here. sure what's being, what's being said. They're 3D just... printable. So- oh, they're giving their own jokes. Next up, improv for humans case closed segment. What? Casing closed. Oh, I get it. Nice. So, I didn't get the good joke. Case enclosed. Got so it. So these are suggestions. Wow. Matt doesn't look like what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk about that, actually. That thought occurred to me. Because when I was young and ha- and listened to guys on the radio, when you finally would oh, yeah. see that guy, you would go, oh, fucking Lord. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, he's got a Hawaiian shirt and a ponytail. And he's- I would always <laughs> think they looked like Don Meredith or someone really cool. And then you would see, like a sports kind of handsome guy. And then you'd see him, they would just look like a fucking troll. Yeah. So is that That's what's happening right now? People think I look I like a troll? I want to know what they thought you looked like. Yeah. Let's write in. Uh, Find out. Woody Canuck one right now. Woody Canuck one, write in and tell us what you thought I looked like. Probably ugly, or <clears throat> he's yeah he had a. Besser, are you excited for the thirtieth anniversary of Fish? I didn't know that. Yeah, I get to go see him. I guess. Are you guys excited for that? You <laughs> no, Fish fans? No, 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 really. Do not anti it. Went to, a, it. Went to a one show, a year and a half ago at the yeah. Hollywood Bowl. Yep. You know, uh, Harris Whittles is a big fish fan, sure. and he goes to is like five really? concerts a week uh, or a year. Yeah. Are you serious? I thought that was all. He goes to photo. eight no, concerts he, a week. Yeah, <laughs> he follows him around and stuff. And I think I felt like, oh, I should see what this is all about. If my yeah. friend's so into it, and the first thirty-minute jam lets you know. Oh boy! Uh, come on, jams are awesome. If you're into it, me and are it, you, were you high? I was high. You didn't like that. Mm-mm. You don't like getting into. The do you per- like Neil Young? I. I thought it was going to be one of those things where you go and you have a moment where you go, oh, I get this. <laughs> and that didn't happen. Just the guy in the row in front of me turned around and said to me and my buddy Neil, he turned around and he went, guys, I love you. But you've been talking through this whole thing. Oh, dude, that and is then, annoying. I know. And then I felt bad because I was like, Ugh. that'd yeah. be like somebody coming to the ballet, you know, where I go. <laughs> sure, and talk yeah, to, sure, you know? sure. Yeah. Oh, yes. God. I was at a fish concert. Was it that same show? I think it might have been. But there was a guy singing the fucking lyrics. Ugh, that's the he worst. Knew, but, and he couldn't sing. Oh, really? So he's like, he's like, bouncing round the room. <laughs> bouncing round the room. It's like, God damn it, man. Don't you know that's yeah. ruining everyone else? But he's tripping, it. so you can't say anything yeah. to him. Right. That's amazing. Yeah, I saw. I, I tried to be in the Grateful, like, into them in high school. And it was only we were like, oh, we can go get high and see them. And then we went and saw them not high. And my friends and I were like, this, <laughs> we have all been faking it. <laughs> We've all been lying and like, we love this stuff. Why is that, that you kind of have to be inebriated to enjoy a jam? I feel the same about blues and jazz, for quite frankly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is that, Paul? 
Uh, Why can't you be so? There's probably there's kind of probably music. some element of surprise, right, or something. So if you you were your senses were a little mm-hmm. less expecting it, maybe. Yeah, I think I it's know. or if you're high, you sort of focus in. Like I, you focus in a little bit more. So each you can appreciate, especially yeah, yeah like yeah. if you're a, a musician, you could probably just appreciate jazz on its own. But if you're high, you might focus in on oh and then that little difference and that little difference right. you know and that I, ringing phone <laughs> i had a buddy because we went to all the early fish shows and where it was at like a frat house you could stand right up front very easily but this one guy my friend jim he would like it was almost like he was like one of those digital graphs on the stereo except for with his body oh, he'd God. be like <laughs> <laughs> like every yeah, single <laughs> he would register every little chain yeah yeah <laughs> and not be embarrassed about how he looked or anything like just so in his own little world about it well when i was there it definitely felt like it was like the same thing as if like you're with a friend and they go like um hey come to my church right. or something and you go there and everybody's doing some a group of people are all doing things simultaneously and saying things right. together you're like i have no welcome, connection yeah. Yeah. That's hey is it your first time in a fish show yeah man i've never been here before hey guys hey. it's your first time hey. Hey guys nice to meet you, you. Hey, nice get ready to eat to some you. delicious I hear the, fish i hear Can the I, concerts are really fun i wanted to make sure is. i make eye contact when i say hey yeah, yeah, yeah. hey hey, hey, hey making eye contact with you hey man making eye contact hey. with you and i'm yeah. gonna get real close to your face oh. just as close well, as you guys can get yeah. Okay. So friendly. Hey man, yeah, I, I we saw are. you didn't bring your own recorder, so here, yeah. go. Oh, everyone's here you. to bootleg the show, listen to yeah. it, later. Oh. Yeah. and then we all compare. We all uh, to try to do one big master. We we bring all the tapes together and and layer it, so it sounds amazing. Yeah. It sounds amazing. It sounds man. amazing. You want some nitrous? Do you get that? Here's a, How that can sound amazing? I, you know, actually, guys, I'm um, I'm sober. Oh my god, yeah. I am so sorry because oh. when I got really super close to your face, I I I dosed you. What? I'm so sorry. My nose. I'm, I'm 12 years sober. I know. I'm so sorry. My nose had a little bit of acid on it, and when I rubbed it again, I am so sorry. Oh, oh you know what? Just enjoy Just this. Just go with Just it. Just enjoy Just this. Just go with do it. Do you want some hash brownies to take the edge off yeah, the trip? Yeah, do you need a little I, mean, I guess as long as this train is rolling, right? Here, yeah. take there this you... hash brownie to take the edge off, yeah. and this one to counteract Oh, out, guys, right? my... Just okay. I, I feel like I just gotta say some stuff just so I can get it out of my head. No, no, yeah. before otherwise it's gonna be swimming around. I know. The whole be- before you say anything, you need. Uh, why don't you just take some nitrous? I think it's probably gonna help yeah. you out okay. just a little. Okay, bit. just some go. more nitrous. Just but a little bit. Finish off the balloon because we don't like to trade yeah. spit. Yeah. Guys, I gotta. T- my I uh. Can you? My my dad was on <laughs> drugs when he murdered my mom. Ah. <laughs> uh, mommy. Wow. wow. Are you saying mommy? Mommy. Mommy. Are you doing? You don't pay enough attention. Attention to your feet. Oh my God. You do not pay it enough attention to your feet. <laughs> Listen. No. You oh my God. Don't. Your bodies are feeling every beat. No. Just stop it. Hey guys, I think he's tripping. Hey, okay. Give me your arm. Just give me a vein. Okay. I'm gonna give you just a little bit of heroin, just to kind of bring you down. No, I think that's gonna fuck me up. No, 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 Dude, no, 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 no. A little bit of heroin. Just a to little take the bit edge of heroin. Just take some, the edge okay, off. just a little taste. Hello, man. I'm it freaky. Hurts. The Rasta clown. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ah, 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 ah. I've heard about him. Oh, just let him go inside your mind. He's this gonna. This is like one of those drugs where everybody meets the same person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they ask him yeah, a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, yeah, he's in a yeah, shipping yeah, container yeah, with people yeah, who don't yeah. speak his language. I don't. In a shipping container. Am I in a shipping container? Am I in a shipping container? It hits a beach. It cracks open. It's on an island somewhere. Oh. Oh my God, guys, I. I gotta admit, I was pretty fucked up, but I think when I was in that shipping container, I came Say down. Say hello to freaking the Rasta <laughs> <Rasta Cloud. laughs> Why? Why, though? Uh, Why hey, what's serve? up, man? I'm VapoRub. VapoRub. Well, listen, let me ask you a question. Did you bring your favorite book? Your yes. favorite record? Your no. favorite video game? No. Your favorite thing to hold when you go to sleep? Honey, uh, wake up. We've been, we've been on the island. The cruise ship wrecked. Oh my god, honey, I have a crazy covered. dream. What's I like the dream? fish? There's much more important things. What? You ate some of the natives. They hit you with a dart in the neck, and you've been tripping. You okay, had a fish show, but they're cannibals. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I had a dream where I liked fish. <laughs> I, it was some kind of I hate jam music. 
I know, honey, but the cannibals are after us. So you, you see where my focus. head is. It's like I hate fish, and then I have a dream where I love them. Okay, I'm going to run, honey. What? I'm going to run. You're we'll in get a trip, and you're endangering both of us. I'm just going to start. I had to leave you. This is where I draw the line. Before we left, you said if I had any dreams and I talked about them, you would acknowledge them. We laid ground rules for a reason. Talk I'm sorry to dream. interrupt it. We are about to attack you to eat you, but you're having a sort of a, a private moment yeah, with relationships. That argument. is what's happening. Yeah. I appreciate that. Would you like to come to our shaman? Our are shaman you, will help you. Are you is he going to eat us later, or is this... Hey. Probably. I mean, it depends on where really? you are in, the, in your relationship. He's very good. He's very good. He helped me and my 19 wife. That's I mean, tough. It's dude. worth a yeah. shot. All right. Of course sure. it is. Okay. Well, do you mind getting in this big metal pot? I'm just going to. Sure. I'm just. Uh, it's just for transportation reasons. I don't see guys, any wheels on the pot or anything. I, How does it get around? Where do you uh, guys get metal? I don't know. Okay. Okay, honey. It's their way. Let's get into the pot. Thank you. Okay. Sooner we get in, the sooner we're there. Yeah. Why, why is he chopping carrots on me, sweetie? This is part of I what the, like this. this is part of what the shaman asked for us to do. Okay. Okay. I mean, I like carrots, but okay. oh, they're flying right. in my face. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Onions. Wait a minute. Cumin. Is this a hot coming? Tub? Coming. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, I'm Lyle. <clears throat> I am the shaman. Okay. It's nice to meet you guys. Okay. Shipwreck? Nice. No, we were dropped from a uh, helicopter or something. We were in a ship. Oh, no, we were in a ship. Yes, we were in a ship. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. this one here was tripping, having a, a whole Oh, yeah. did they, they shot you? Yes. I, uh, they shot you? What was your dream about? I liked fish. I <sighs> it. The yeah. man. Wow. Do you guys get fish down here? Or are you familiar so. with their music? I'm familiar or? with their music. Yeah, I'm from Connecticut. Yeah, Lyle, I gotta say, I was expecting you to be sort of a yeah a, a man of the islands, a, a native. Well, well, I did a little uh, heart, Hearts of Darkness here. Mm. Do you, came are you? He a plays Jimmy too? Buffett songs on his ukulele mm-hmm. for us. Yeah, I do you have... mind playing one? It's a stall. It's a stalling technique. Oh well, uh, good. I bet sure. you're very good. Uh, <laughs> thank you, very much. Grab actually, the knife that was um, cutting. As he sings, you know, it's kind out. of appropriate since uh, we're. I get so distracted when you sing those songs. Anything good can happen, but go ahead. It's you know fine. what? It's dinner time. I'm going to sing Cheeseburger in Paris. Oh, oh, so good. Oh, that's great. I was going to so say Pixel Thin Mets. That's so great. I like mine with lettuce and tomato. Oh, so good. The seven and so French fried potatoes. Honey, I know oh, we're supposed to be sneaking out right now, but I'm loving it. it. I got to dance. It. It's cheeseburgers in paradise. Oh, oh. Okay, it's not. That's, that's been improv for humans, folks. Paul Rust, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, at Paul Rust on Twitter. Yeah? Do it. What about yeah. you, Seth? Um, uh, nowhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the government wants me. I can't add. At Seth Morris. What about you, Brian? Uh, at the Brian Husky on Twitter and Instagram. I love Instagram. Ooh. Guys. Images? Yeah. Images, guys. I love I've the photography. Pixels. Pixeraters. Folks, we're going to be in Austin for South by Southwest Improv for Humans at Esther Spallies on March 10th. Woo! That's going to be a lot of fun. Great bands down there, man. Check oh, it out. Fish is gonna be I'll great fucking bands. check it out. Woo! Uh, MattBesser.com. Get my stand-up album. <laughs> See you guys later, everybody. Wait. Bye. And fade to black. Music by Dragoon. Vodka Robot. Has been Matt Besser's improv for humans. That's right, robot. Why is she a vodka robot? You know that uh, there's some ad campaign that's just.